Hi, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Here it is 1026. And um, I heard two things spoken to me last night in a dream. Oh, forgive me, I'm just so tired. We had a very busy day today and I haven't been able to get making this video until right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sitting outside. Um, so the first one I heard was, I wrote it down here, what is it? Uh, it says, Behold, I give you an open door. And that was it on the first one. And so I found some scriptures talking about this. One was John 9, uh, 10 and 9. It, uh, Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. And then John 10, 2 and 3. But the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep recognize his voice and come to it. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. John 10, 7. So Jesus said again, I assure you, I am the door of the sheep. That was really, it was really pretty amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was in the wind today all day at a, um, <clears throat> most of the day at a children's uh, middle school uh, softball game. And it was so windy outside and I was sitting right behind the backstop and the wind was blowing straight into everybody's faces and it was just blowing dust all over me and my eyes everywhere. And uh, it was, it was fun. It was a beautiful day, but it was really windy. But after this, on our way back, we probably had about an hour drive. Um, I was, uh, we were driving down the highway and it was, um, let's see, it was right after the exit of Santa Ana and uh, like on 52, was it fi exit 52? I can't remember, but off to the right, I mean, the landscape was so beautiful today. California is so green and I, we were right next to the, to the Altamont, those mountains there. And I could look over. It was so clear today. I could look out to my right and see all the way across the valley. I mean, all the way to the other side of the foothills, <laughs> to the other mountain ranges. I mean, that's a long ways away. And I could see those foothills over there. And um, we were just driving along and it was so beautiful. And I was just thanking God for that day, for this day. And I happened to look over and this is the first time I've seen sheep herding through all these hills, these green, this beautiful green grass. There was just hundreds of sheep. And there was a shepherd, there was a man and he was walking through and he was herding them. And there was just tons of them. And I noticed that they had all been sheared. All their hair was gone. And, and they had been sheared. And I've never seen this. I've never known that, that any as sheep owners would do this. But they had marked all of these sheep with like a, spray, a red, blood red spray paint. As some kind of like a, an X on them or something. I don't know. I was just like, oh, that, that's weird. But, um, anyway, th that was, that was just really weird. But any, and wow. Yeah. And then here it says, but the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. <laughs> the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Wow. So maybe I was it supposed to see that today. Okay. I'm, I'm not really a bright person sometimes friends. I'm just, I just go about my day and I'm very observant, but sometimes it takes a while to put two and two, <laughs> two together. So forgive me, but okay. So the next, uh, the next part that I heard, it said, verily I say, if you have seen me, you have seen the father. And then I had one of the books of the Bible, 
I heard it was Ecclesiastes. So I'm kind of still, um, I, I think that I'm supposed to just open the book to Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, excuse me, and read the whole book. I've been in and out of Ecclesiastes the last time I read through, I probably read through the whole Bible, let's see, six times, but I was just, uh, between the ages of 12 and probably 17 or 16, I think it was, but it was so long ago. But since then, I just, you know, in and out, in and out, you know, never just like a whole book. Well, I did read the whole book of Habakkuk, but that, that doesn't count. It's really small. But anyways, I'm just really tired. But here is a, um, another, some scriptures about that. Jesus, the way to the Father, and this is what was brought to my attention. It's John 14, 5 through 14. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. <sighs> wow, that's really deep. <sighs> you know when Moses was shown the burning bush and the burning bush said, I am. And in the New Testament, Jesus also said, I am. That's pretty deep, isn't it? Eight, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father? and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. Let me read that again. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing. And they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the father may be glorified in the son you may ask me for anything in my name and i will do it powerful 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 thank you jesus i just love him <laughs> i love the lord so much I'm sitting outside and I'm looking at the stars and <sighs> anyway, friends, <sighs> I don't know much more what I can say, you know, <clears throat> he is Lord. He came down and he put on a robe of flesh and he was actually birthed. He was birthed, reborn into a robe of flesh so he could experience birth, right? Jesus didn't experience anything that we, Jesus was never approached with anything with, you know, he experienced everything we did so he could be on our level and come down here and walk among men as a son that experienced birth you understand what I'm saying <laughs> I 
Anyway, I love you all and I'm praying for the body of Christ. If you're listening to this and you haven't given your life to Jesus, if you have not given your life to him, your whole being and surrendered everything to him, be baptized in Jesus name, Acts 2:38, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will speak to you, lead you and guide you into all truths. He will order your footsteps through the for your the rest of your life as long as you put first his forth first his kingdom. He is good, he is righteous, he is just. And he most of all he is loving. If you haven't done those things yet friends do it because there is no other God but the Lord and he will show you things many things and he'll love you and he'll comfort you and he'll speak to you and he'll take care of you if you put his kingdom first and include him in your life every day All right, I love you. I'm praying for the body of Christ in Jesus' name. Amen.